Yeah, we're back live at Public Square in downtown Cleveland, and what a gorgeous day. I it just showered now, and it's gone. In fact, we're a little bit wet, but the sun is out. It's drying out. See, have a listen to us, John. That's right. They release the balloons. Right. In beautiful no, actually, sunshine. Actually, they did the right thing because it was very om ominous, and it would have been a late release. Okay, for those folks who did not see the balloon release, we're going to count you down to the videotape of that. You ready? Ready. Ten, Ten nine, nine, eight, seven. seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Here Take they go. Lift off. Amazing. And the far end is up. And there they go, John. Ladies and gentlemen, the Guinness Book of World Records has just been broken in Cleveland. Over 1,500,000 balloons going up in the air at this very, very moment. Look at the crowd. We did it. We did it, John. There it goes. It's completely covering the terminal tower. Oh, look at that. I want to sing up, up, and away. <laughs> it is awesome, ladies and gentlemen, to actually be down here and see the multi-colors that are going up in the air at this moment. The on the lake anymore. Cleveland has now broken the Guinness Book of World Records and released over 1,500,000 balloons. Think of, think, think of that, Chuck. The Guinness Book of World Records, the Cleveland home of the, home of the, home of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. All of this in Cleveland, Ohio. The All-American City. How many events can we, can we take over in 1986? This is fantastic. And we're going to keep doing it in 1987, right? <laughs> the excitement, the excitement got to me, Chuck. <laughs> this, this is amazing. Look at the net, straight up. Everything has worked just like Trev said it would. This is absolutely fantastic. And Mr. Goddard held the weather off for it to be nice today so we could break this world record. You know, had they listened to us with all the training we've had with Dick Goddard, they would have realized in 10 more minutes it would have been bright and sunny. Right. <laughs> the clouds no, are going to move right on They had high. to go. They had to go. Look at, on the corner of the terminal tower, you can see all the balloons. They're probably now over west 150th. Look at that. I'll bet you can see those balloons from all the suburbs around Cleveland. What an awesome sight. How would you like to be on the freeway right now, coming into Cleveland, seeing that massive color going straight out? It's great. Look at it. It's, it's still great. The crowd is in a very festive mood. There's a lot of things crowd, going on. They are so excited. So am I. I'm so excited. In fact, I forgot to bring my camera. <laughs> Hopefully, someone's got some good pictures. I'm so excited. I just fell off the stage here. <laughs> The Old Stone Church is ringing, ringing church bells. There are helicopters all over the square now. Every, I think every TV station, every network has a helicopter in the sky. Everywhere you look is balloons. 
people holding balloons, people flying in the air balloons. And the wind has just shifted just enough that the balloons are now trailing <laughs> fast. This is beautiful. The balloons are coming back this way. They're coming back. A tremendous sight. In fact, we can still see some of the trailers. They're so high and they're so far, we can barely make them out, but there's still balloons floating around the area. A, a great the, day for Cleveland. Oh, the people aren't. They're, they're having a ball, I'll tell you. And the rain is stopping. The rain is stopping. It, it, we're, and the sun is coming out, and everything is excellent. This is a beautiful day for downtown Cleveland. Yes, it is. And, John, don't forget, you and I are going to be in the Akron Rubber Bowl tonight. Where the Akron Zips are going to play the uh, Flo Central Florida. Right. And, and uh, John there. and I are going to be there. It's, it's uh, Lawson's, Dairy Mart Lawson's, fill the bowl night in Akron. If you, uh, what, the weather looks like it's going to be nice. Very good football game. And we're going to do a little halftime entertainment and give some money away from Lawson. Right. <laughs> and Dairy Mart. Right. Dairy Mart. Okay, we'll be back with more coverage right after this commercial word for you. Next on North Coast. Sliders are coming to Cleveland, and we'll tell you more about the White Castle hamburger chain and their plans to move into our market. But if you're still asking, where's the beef? <laughs> Join us in Orville for a visit with advertising man Joe Settlemeyer, creator of that famous burger campaign. Can kissing be hazardous to your health? A case where. Okay, big shot, little diner live, and I mean live, <laughs> in downtown Cleveland, and we are aboard. Two of the best things in Cleveland, the mounted police, police horses. And we do mean Cleveland's <laughs> finest, John, yes. and I love the mounted unit, and we we'll do all we can to, to promote this mounted unit of ours. It's one of, just one of the big pluses Cleveland has over many, many other major cities in the United States. And if Let's hear it for the mounted unit. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get down here, John, so I can talk. <laughs> well, i got to stay here until they take me down. But I'll, tell you, I'll make a deal with I this horse. I have to horse. talk to some people. <laughs> I'll make a deal with this, this horse. This is right, folks, so whatever happens, <laughs> happens, okay? Chuck, I'm going to make a deal with this horse. Okay. That if I get off alive, I'll give him my apple <laughs> for my lunch. Okay, what's the name what of the horse name? here? That Tino? And what's your name, sir? John Struthers. Now, Tino is four, five, four years old. This is the first time I've seen this season. Look at this. Tino is four years old, and it's the first time he's ever been in a crowd. I re I'm, I'm really excited about this. <laughs> and you're on top of him. All right. I'm still on him. <laughs> what okay. do you have with you, Chuck? We have... Mary Kay. Mary, I've seen Mary. I see you in the wintertime. You ride your little scooter downtown, and when the weather's nice, you ride your horse. Right, right. How long have you been with the Monarch Unit, Mary? Seven years. Seven years. From, we did a, a, a report on it one time that it, has been, it hasn't been very long since women uh, were in the unit. How long has that been? About eight years. About eight years. So you're one of the first ones. Yes. Thanks for bringing them out here, Mary. You're welcome. We're going to talk to some people right now right behind us here. And what is your oh, name? Brown. Dan Chakuda. Dan, and where are you from? Uh, Mayfield. Mayfield, and? Yeah. I'm Jeff Brown, Mayfield Heights. South. Mayfield Heights. So did you see the big uh, balloon release? Yeah, it was awesome. Did you take pictures of it? My dad did. Good. Did you? Yeah, I saw it, but my dad did, isn't here. I'm with him. You know, if this record stands, you'll be able to tell your grandchildren that you were here in downtown Cleveland, and the uh, Guinness Book of World Records was set right here in downtown Cleveland, and you were just going to high school, and all those good things, you'll have pictures to show them, which I won't because I left my camera home. <laughs> all right. Cleveland's number one. Great, Thank you. Hey, John, do you have anybody over there? Hey, Chuck, I have somebody right here. I have me, and I have the apple for Tino. So as soon as Officer Struthers helped me get off this horse, I will give, give him the apple, and then you talk to the crowd while I get off. Okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> to show you I'm a man of my word, here you go, Tino. The other horse is gone. There it goes. Is that Tino? Uh, that's Tino. Tino, the other horse is gone, so don't tell her. But I got an apple, too. You got, oh, can he eat, too? He can eat, too. He has baby teeth, though. He has little baby teeth, so he has to digest that one first before he gets the second. Are you serious? His teeth are no, small? He's, he's four years old, so he's just cutting his five-year hook. And uh, he see it. Uh, Look. <laughs> yeah. 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 Close, but no cigar. He's grinning it up there, John. Well, in, it, in that case, why don't you go talk to some people I haven't, okay. and I'll just wait until he finishes, and I'll give him this apple. Up? How'd you like it? It was fantastic. What was the most exciting part of the whole morning so far? Oh, when they let the balloons go off one at a time. 
And what's your name? Janet Rivera. Okay, Janet, okay. Hi, what's your name? My name's Vivian Pittman. And Vivian, were you here when the balloons went off? Yes, I did. What time did you get here? About, oh, about five minutes before the balloons went off. So you just lucked out in time to see it go off. Right. What went through your mind when they were going up? Oh, it was a beautiful sight. Did you like all the colors? Yeah. It was fantastic. Okay. <laughs> would, you, would you come back again in downtown Cleveland for another happening? Yes, I will. Very good. Very good. Okay. Hi. What's your name? Joanne McGuire. Did you see the balloons go off? Oh, absolutely. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Okay. What time did you get down here? I have class at 8 o'clock at Dyke, so I've been here since 8. 8 o'clock this morning. Very good. What went through your mind when the balloons went off? It's the most fantastic sight I've ever seen. Oh. I love Cleveland. Oh, thank you. Did you know that you have witnessed in your lifetime now Haley's Comet, or Halley's Comet, and now the Guinness Book of World Records for balloons? I hope to live a long time and witness even more. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Okay, you know, John and I, are, like you said, keep saying how exciting this has been, and it really wasn't. We've done a lot of things that I, I have to say this is the top, uh, as far as excitement. Uh, I'll always remember this, this day. It's just... You had to be here, folks. Right. <laughs> Everything awesome. has happened today. It has been a gorgeous day. Look, the sun is shining. You know, the blue skies. The we light. really have to hand it to our technical crew because if you were to try to understand what it takes to put this on, uh, four cameras, uh, one in a helicopter, one on top of a building, one underneath, and all these cables have to be run across the street, and it's, it's absolutely fantastic. We know the telecast wasn't perfect, but it never is in, in an exciting event like this. And the fact that we brought it to you, I'm, I'm just proud of TV8. I'm proud of our guys, and I'm proud of Cleveland, and proud to be a part of it. Yeah. Yes, sir. And I'll tell you what, are you guys proud to be from Cleveland? Yeah! Hey. yeah! I said it before, and I'll say it again. This is no more a mistake on the lake. No, it isn't, John. Yes, sir. And while we're speaking of cities, don't forget, we have a great sister city to the south, Akron, and we're going to be there tonight at the Akron Zips game and the Akron Rubber Bowl. So if you folks want something to do tonight, the good football gang, Jerry Faust and the guys, are going to take on Central Florida, and I'll bet the Zips win. Uh, I'm hoping they Gang, until we okay. see you next Friday night at 11.30. Don't forget, we're right. beginning we're our show. We're going to come back at 11.30. At 11.30, next Friday with Laurel and Hardy. You all take good care of yourself because we need you and we love you. Bye-bye. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye. on the 14th.